Hey YouTube, um, today is the 9th of December, 2016. I got a haircut, so just want to show my hair. <sighs> and today is the fourth installment of my clock collection series. I'm pretty sure it's the fourth. So, let me plug this in real quick. Let me turn this on. My dog is here today. Here's my, um, of course, regulator. I don't have a real regulator yet, so it is going to be my kind of replacement. Uh, it's, it's made out of plastic. Um, it's got real glass. So, that's pretty cool. Here's a old Japanese, um, Awari. I'm guessing 1890s, 1900s. That kind of time. And yes, I do sleep with this thing on. It's pretty loud. I can sleep through it. Here's my ornate German clock, you know. I don't want to take the um movement out to see um who made it because as you can see the dial here coming loose and I don't like doing that so I got a video on this clock um you can go to my video section and check it out but overall it's a nice clock real real nice one um it has no chime in here I mean no gong which is a relief and I finally after um months and months of tinkering my Gustav Becker it's actually working now. So. Oh. Yeah, I got a slight movement up in the case of it. Here's my Waterford crystal clock. And um, my Alaska Railroad pocket watch. My rhythm music box clock. Um, sorry about that, just gonna pause for a sec. Here is my quartz desk clock, plastic, um, pretty sure the dial's plastic too. Here's a Howard Miller, the model name is Topaz. Hold on a second, let me reach back here. Literally. Alright, here's my Falcon's clock, and um, this right here is my um, <sighs> homemade clock. Uh, I wrote these little numbers on here thinking to make it look better, but <sighs> boy was I wrong. Sorry if I yawn a lot in this video. I'm tired. These are all the clocks upstairs. I will no longer be showing all my watches in these. um videos because um, I'm making a new watch collection series so that'll be coming up around January February so stay tuned for that okay I, I, gotta, I gotta go downstairs now Slide down on here. Here's the um, Anko Korean clock. It's just got one of the nicest cases I've ever seen. Found this in the basement. It's been sitting there for seven years. Um, brought it home. Said the beat works perfectly fine. Uh, if y'all want to see anything on this clock, let me know. Happy to do a video.
Okay. Ooh, okay, let me turn the volume down here. Here's the um, Ingram mantle clock. I gotta wind it. I gotta separate it on that where you can hear it chime. I have one minute of battery left, so... <sighs> Would you look at that moon? Here's my um, Accurite Otama clock. Keeps perfect time and pretty reliable. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, see you next time. Bye. -bye.